Hey everybody, it's Keith. Just wanted to say hey, show you what's going on. You can see my arm is in a swing. It's my right arm. It's my dominant arm, so that's kind of an issue. But I just wanted to let you know what's going on. I had shoulder surgery on it. And the reason why is I'm five days out of post-op. And I had surgery on a Thursday. And first thing in the morning <clears throat> and uh, the reason why I had the surgery was originally I heard it I had like a kids basketball or whatever and I toss it like this and I'm demonstrating with my left arm obviously my right screwed up so I tossed it like that and something popped in the shoulder and that hurt um, I let it go for a little while figuring you know it, I didn't see a doctor after that it was still a little messed up I had limited range and stuff like that. What made me decide to finally do the surgery was uh, to make this a little bit car related. I was ratcheting down a car dolly on my, when I was turning in my 2020 bolt. And I was basically, had the car dolly was down there and I was ratcheting up like this, basically doing a curl. And I was pulling real tight and something just popped. Popped, there's a tremendous amount of pain. Uh, I could barely move my arm. I got the car on the dolly, drove home, and pain meds this morning. I got, as soon as I got home, I just left the car on the dolly uh, until the next day. Um, after that, I went to the doctor and said, we got, I, I got to do something. And he said the super, like, had an MRI, blah, blah, super sprainous was totally torn. And my bicep tendon was, he thought it was totally torn. It, it turns out it wasn't. It still had one strand, one or two strands left on there. That was holding it, and that's probably why I was so much in so much pain when I would do a curl of any weight. Um, so during the surgery, he I don't know what he did. The super sprain is reattached that. I think he shaved the bone and then he just snipped the, the, the bicep tendon because he said he couldn't repair it. So I ended up the bicep tendon is torn up on top. <clears throat> so that's that. Uh, I need to stay in the sling for two weeks. I have some exercises I need to do, very light work. It's basically like doing this, open, closing hands. I cannot move my shoulder at all. Um, they don't want me to move it. I tell you what, I've accidentally moved my shoulder a couple times, and it is very painful. <laughs> it hurts like crazy. Uh, so you really don't want to. And weight, do not lift any weight. That's another thing. Um, so I'm, I'm learning all that stuff. In proper uh, pain medicine, I. So Thursday, they gave me a nerve blocker, so I didn't feel anything in my arm the whole day Thursday. Um, my fingers started to feel tingly, and I could feel like some sensation coming back. And then I decided, all right, I'm going to start doing the, the pain meds. So it was one, one pill every four hours. So I just set up a schedule, an alarm every four hours, no matter what time it was. So that means I was waking up in the middle of the night, taking the medicine, but I was able to sleep. Thursday night, no problem. And I'll show you in a little bit my sleeping arrangements. Just sleeping on a recliner, the couch. Uh, Friday, didn't do much. Just stayed on the couch. Um, pain meds every four hours. Uh, I did also, they said you could take some Tylenol. So even with the pain meds, I was still feeling pain in my shoulder. So I would take some Tylenol and that would knock it down a little bit more. Um, Saturday, same deal. I didn't, I didn't really move. I just sat on the couch, nothing. I was trying to, I, I, was, I think I was still taking the pain meds. I think on, um, Sunday, I tried to stand for pain meds and all I did was take Tylenol. The other thing was, I didn't have a bowel movement since Thursday morning and I was starting to feel it in my stomach. So I'll show you what I, I, I took some stuff for that. <clears throat> And um, Sunday afternoon, that's when that all took effect and cleared me right out. I felt better. But um, Sunday, I didn't take any of the prescribed medicine. I was just taking, I just took Tylenol once, once when I felt a lot of pain. Like if I moved around a lot and stuff, I would feel it afterwards. So I would take some Tylenol. Um, I did take a pain pill Sunday night because I want to be able to sleep. So I, I was able to sleep the whole, the whole night without a problem. Um, Monday, 
Didn't do much. I mean, just didn't do much. Same thing, just sitting on the couch, watching TV, watching movies. I am very limited in what I can do. I can't really lift lift that a lot. So it's left hand motions a lot. I do have use of my hand, so I can help. You know, I I can hold a bottle. I mean, the weight wise, that's probably about it. I can't lift anything. I mean, the bottle. If I hold, I don't have much bottle weights, but that's about as as much as I can hold. Um, maybe this full of water would be too heavy. <clears throat> Uh, so where are we? So that was Monday, Monday night. That's four days out from the, the surgery. I decided I'm going I'm to stay off all the pain meds. So I did not get a good night's sleep. I, I tried finally about one o'clock maybe. I was, I, I couldn't get, I was pain and stuff like that while I was sleeping. So I took a pain pill. Well, not, not a pain pill. I just took two Tylenol. And that helped me go to sleep right after that. Uh, I want to show you some stuff that I have purchased and used to help me do all this. Because now I'm basically just using my left hand. Some stuff I don't, I didn't really need, I thought I would need. Like to open a bottle. I thought I was going to need some special stuff to open a bottle one hand. But since I still can use my hand here, I'm able to hold the bottle at least. You know, I got to support it on a table. And then I can crank it with my other hand. <clears throat> so that's... That worked out. Um, I do have a pair of these, like a nutcracker thing. And you know, it does work. You put it on the bottle and you can turn it. Still gotta hold it with your other hand. So that, that's that's that. Um, let me show you this other thing I got for bottles, which I use and it works, but I'm not gonna use, probably not gonna use it anymore. All right, this is canned bottle opener thing. It's got like teeth on it. You put your bottle in here, cram it in there, and you can get this, it, it'll open a bottle one hand. It's meant to go, meant to go like on your uh, under your cabinet and stuff. I put it here in the office because I don't want to put it in on, on our nice new cabinet. And we're not gonna use it all the time, actually. And now that I, I, I'm not, even, I don't even think I'm gonna use it at all. But it's, it's there. It was cheap. If you want to get that, if you, it, I mean, it, it does help. It did help me open the the bottle. So I mean, I don't really think I need it. Now that I'm a couple days in, shouldn't be drinking soda anyway, but uh, I need some caffeine. <laughs> I just need a little bit of caffeine. Anyway, um, the other thing, so I do computer work. That's that's my job. I, I'm on a computer all day. So I did purchase... I purchased two different mount mice. I got this one here. So the ball, it doesn't move, right? You just scroll with your ball. And it's got the buttons, whatever, all right? Okay. I figured I could use that, and it does work. I can put my hand there, and I can still, you know, in the, in the comfortable position, I can put my hand here, and I can use it. Just scroll with my thumb. It's a little awkward. I'm not used to doing it that way. I'm used to moving the whole mouse, so it takes a little bit longer. Uh, and I did buy, I, I was thinking, well, I might have to use my left hand the whole time. So I bought one of these guys you can use with right or left hand. But this would, I mean, I'm glad I can use this one. I have some flexibility with my hand. Because this I would have to move it and then come to the keyboard, move, come to the keyboard. So this, um, I mean, it's cool. It's got a scroll and everything, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be using this one. I think I'm going to be able to use this one a lot better. So that stuff I'm using to get some computer work done. i got to edit videos and stuff. And let's go show you, let me go show you some other stuff I got. So here's my setup. Got some blankets, pillow, reclining chair. That's where I've been sleeping. Obviously, pillow up here. So I've been sleeping there. Got this thing. This thing worked uh, pretty well. We were going to put it underneath here and I was going to stay in this chair. But this seems like a better setup. I can just put stuff here and slide it. Um, we got this table here, got all my stuff that I need. You know, water, TV remote, fan, fan control, whatever, right? And I got the meds. The important part is keep the meds close by so you don't have to get up. I mean, I still have to get up anyway. Let's go to the restroom, but. Uh, the other thing I got was for taking a shower. Finally, I, finally I was able to take a shower. 
and I got this sling here. It's just, a, it's like a waterproof sling. And it can get wet and it dries. So this, this one has this abduction pillow. So I need to have my arm away from my body. So that's why it has this. And that one, will, I only use it for, for going in the showers. I can't use it for anything else. And I bought some shirts. I bought some shirts. I don't know where. Okay, so as far as clothes, I just been wearing loose fitting clothes. Just like pull elastic uh, shorts. So way I can get in and out of them easy. And look at this. I'm still wearing the uh, socks. They've been washed. I'm wearing them again. It's fine. That's the hardest thing is getting socks on. I can't believe it. So I got these shirts that have the snaps on them. So I'm going to tear this one's, this one's apart. I bought three different ones. I can't find the other one right now. But they snap together. And this was good. I wore a button-down shirt. Like, this is just a regular button-down shirt. And it works. I have a little bit more movement than I did the first two, three days. But these snap-down shirts work really well. They, they Basically, they come totally apart. There's a shirt that's together, right? And it just snaps. It all snaps all along the side. The whole side so the whole shirt comes in. it's just the front and back you can take the whole thing apart and you'll have a front part of the shirt and the back part of the shirt so this this one here i don't know what the heck happened i don't know it's all messed up which it probably needs to be put back together before i wash it because who the heck knows what's gonna happen to it i'm trying to find, okay so here's I'm trying to find the neck Let's just lay it out and I bought a size larger so get a size larger so this is extra large I did get a large it fits if it's a little more snug that should be the size I, I, I would normally wear if it's a little more snug but it's still okay um, let's see if, you, if I can show you all right so that's the arm so this is the yeah okay this is the bottom. That's the neck up there. This is one arm. Comes over that way. Comes over like that. So you'll see this <clears throat> is the back of the shirt. You will put your good arm in there. And then you're gonna need help to do this because you can't do it yourself. And then um you would this would be all open and you would just put it around underneath your sling. If you if you can't take your sling right now, like now I can take the sling off. And it's not that uncomfortable. I can doesn't hurt that, that much. I can bear it. If I just hold my arm up, it's okay. Uh, first couple of days, I couldn't. I, there's no way I can move my arm. So this helped out a lot. So I just got a couple. I got like three of these shirts, and you can slide it underneath the sling on the other side of the sling. And then once you get it on the other side of the sling, then you can just start snapping it together. Let's see, like. like that and just got a million snaps and you keep going and you make a shirt it's kind of satisfying but if you were doing this by yourself it would probably be very difficult to do this um yeah because like under the arm and stuff like that anyway <laughs> that's some of the stuff so this is day what i say day five we'll uh I'll come back in a couple of days. This, this video is taking a lot out of me. I'm gonna try because I can't. I can't sleep. I can't sleep laying down. I tried to lay down in bed, and not a good idea. Hurt like crazy. So I'm gonna try to prop myself up a lot and see if I can um, sleep in bed tonight. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> I forgot a couple other things. I so I had my left. I had my left arm free. I had my right arm operated on so i wanted to get a, a bidet so i did get a bidet but i wanted the left hand control so you can't a lot of them are just right hand control so i had to get a, you have to look around you can't find it i need a left hand control bidet so when i'm sitting down also toilet paper 
is over here to the right. I can't reach that when I'm sitting down. So I got this little stand, cheap little stand for some toilet paper on there. It's fine for what it is. It's freaking, anyway. But I got that this way, you know, when I'm sitting doing business, I can get, grab the toilet paper right there. And the debate with the right, um, the left hand thing worked out well. And when I get my other, eventually get my left one operated on, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So get another debate, uh, another bidet on the opposite way, who knows. But that really helped out. <clears throat> but that really helped out. Anyway, stick around. Thanks. Okay, I wanted to show these things here. My neck was getting cramped from having to sit laying down, holding the phone up, whatever. So I got these two things. This thing's a little bit bigger. It's made from probably made for a tablet, but you just set your phone in there, and it goes well on the tray. It can also sit on your lap, which helps out a lot. It goes sideways. This thing just holds it really well. Um, so I like this. Um, when I was shopping, I also found this little bean bag thing. You put your phone on it. It doesn't. It it will hold it standing up this way. It holds it better laying down. So if you want to watch videos or whatever, it holds a lot better there. But it it does a good job of holding it here. It's got the little feet that hold it. So. Anyway, there's just two two little things that help me out, and you can set this thing on your on your lap also, on you know just sit it on you and help you uh, uh, get rid of some neck strain. Anyway, it's a, it's a little cheap bean bag. These things are cheap; they weren't that much money, so I figured whatever. If I never use them again, that's fine. I mean, once my surgery's done, this table's probably going away. Um, I will. I will probably. You haven't told you on my left shoulder, so I'll probably use it again. But we're gonna put it somewhere because we don't need it other than me just pointing having this stuff here. Um, we don't need anything else in the living room, anyway. These two little things, eh, it just makes things a little bit easier. So, anyway, just wanted to show you that too. Okay, well, here's an update it's been officially one week. Since I had my operation on my shoulder, on my right shoulder, and I've graduated from being in a recliner. I don't know if I'm, I was actually more comfortable in the recliner, but last night uh, I slept in the bed. I couldn't get comfortable for like an hour. I, I fell asleep for a couple hours, and then I couldn't get comfortable for about an hour and a half because I tried different positions trying to actually just lay down. Didn't work that well until I set this up. Just a bunch of pillows. A um, bunch of pillows here, pretty much just in a reclining position. But I have the wedge right here. And I can, I'm can. i able to lay down, put my get all the way over, put my shoulder here, lay down, and then I can sleep. So that was a good, that's good progress. And also, I'm able to put a regular t-shirt on. I don't know if I showed, showed before, but I'm able to put a regular t-shirt on and by myself, I still have to use a table or put my arm on something to put the t-shirt on. I, I can't just do it in the middle of midair. Um, so I'll show the video right here. All right, I just had shoulder surgery uh, just about a week ago. I finally am able to put on a regular shirt by myself. I'm gonna show you how I do it. So you get the shirt. I have this is my right arm. That's the arm that is uh, had the surgery on it. And you don't want to move. You can't move my shoulder. It hurts a lot. So what you do is you get your your t-shirt, regular t-shirt. I get one that's oversized. Get one of my bigger shirts that I know will um, is a little bit bigger. And you just take your hand. Oh. <laughs> Put it in the bottom and just fish your way up through the sleeve. And what you want to do is do not oh God, do not move your shoulder. So lift your arm up. I bunch this all up, get this all up in here, get the 
sleeve up. Just get it like past your bicep would be fine. And then get the other side of the shirt. Put your hand in the other sleeve. Oh, let's see if they're, now I'm pushing this past my elbow. Luckily, I still have movement on my hand, so I can use my hands a little bit. This needs to get back up. And then you take your head, put it through the head hole like this, and just slowly work it. Now, see, I'm stuck over here, so I kind of like throw this side down, just gently pull this over, pull this down. Oh, and there you go. Yeah, this is only a week out, so there you go. That's how you put it on. Take it off. You do the, do the opposite. Pull your head through. I'm not going to show you because I'm tired now. Just pull your head through. Pull your good arm through, and then just roll this down and just move it. Just lift your arm up. You lift your arm up with the other arm, and slide the uh, shirt off. That's it. And you'll see how, how I did it. But basically, sit down in this chair, put my arm on the um, table, and work my way and get the shirt on. And that's the way I do it. You know, I, if, if I lean my, if I put my arm on something, it takes the pressure off of it, and then I can get the shirt on. So I don't have, I don't have to use those button shirts and all that. The button shirt that separates, I, I don't think I would be able to. I'll be able to get it on. I don't think I'll be able to button all of the buttons up on the right side anyway. So get, putting a regular shirt on is helps a lot better. And what I do is I use a shirt that is I know is big on me. So this way it will just drape over and just, and just go in the right spots. Um, for my incisions, you can't see them now, but I put band-aids on them. They still have um, the sutures in there, the stitches. So I put band-aids because it was grabbing on. I, we had a pad. I had just a pad on there. The pad came off, and then the shirt was grabbing the stitches. I don't want anything to happen there. So I just put band-aids on them. Uh, what else? I'm just walking around, I'm just trying to do something, get some exercise. I have. I do have some exercises to do. Uh, basically, just flex my arm straight out. Put my take the sling off, and it feels it feels better when I take the sling off. There's not no weight on my sh on my sh on my neck and stuff like that. But anyway, I I can't straighten my arm all the way out. It's it's hurting my elbow too much. So I'm working on that, and then they give you a ball. I don't have it on me right now, and it's just the ball to squeeze squeeze it. So I'm getting there. I have a, a doctor appointment in two more weeks. And they'll tell me, you know, about physical therapy and all that other kind of stuff. Probably take the stitches out and see where we are from there. Um, I tried, I'm trying to sit down at the computer to see if I can do some work. It, it's making me very tired, <laughs> tell you the truth. So I can sit at, the, at, at my desk, put my arm, put my arm here on the desk. I got my keyboard all the way over to this side, typing with one hand, and then now the other, other thing is my left arm already has problems, so my left shoulder is getting a lot more work than it used to. It's because it's having to do, you know, all the moving, all the lifting, and everything. It's starting to hurt a lot. Anyway, uh, my left shoulder's messed up too, so I'll be I'll be doing another video like this with my left shoulder eventually, I guess. But so you see the the mouse I have. It doesn't have a ball on the bottom this this the ball that scrolls and then you have uh, your regular regular scroll anyway this is the this the like the, the trackball that would be on the bottom instead of moving the mouse because i don't want to move the mouse and my arm and all that kind of stuff so just sitting there problem is i'm not really used to using that kind of mouse and it's a little difficult on the on the screen and i'm a lot slower at doing stuff now um but I mean, it's my aunt. All I do is like this. I can scroll, click, and my arm doesn't move at all. So that's working out pretty well. I, I was I thought I was going to use the, the 
the other one with the left hand, but like, like I said earlier, um, then I, it's hard for me to type. So I just leave my hand on this mouse. I can even take this mouse and put it, I can even take the mouse and just grab it like in midair <laughs> and just scroll around if I want to. But I don't know, I, I can, I'm, I'm able to turn my wrist enough where I can do like this. So anyway, I, I can get some work done, but it's taken me a long time and the, the shoulder starts getting, gets getting some pain. Um, other than that, I don't, it's gonna take it day by day. I haven't driven yet. I don't know if uh, I'm supposed to drive. I'm thinking I should be able to drive because I can put the seatbelt on with my left hand, seatbelts to the right side of me. That should be fine. I don't think it's gonna affect the sling or anything. Uh, I can reach over. It's an auto. It's, if I drive my electric car, <laughs> it's. Uh, I just put it in. Oh, that that, one, that that might be something. I'm just thinking. I gotta hit a button and then put it. Anyway, I'm gonna. I'll, I might just try try it out and just see if I can get in the car and see how it feels. Only problem is I might not be able to do the, like the AC controls and stuff like that. It might be a little hard because it's all the way over to the right, and I really have to use my right right arm to do that. If I'm seat belted in, I might not be able to <laughs> reach it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. It doesn't say anything in the instructions about not driving. I'm, I'm, I haven't. I'm not on any pain medicine, so the only other issue I can see is hitting bumps and bouncing around. That probably not, that would, that's going to hurt my shoulder. You know, the up bouncing up and down and my shoulder going up and down with uh, it'll be in the sling, but maybe I get a pillow, put it on my lap. I don't know. Um. Anyway, that, that's an update. This this is we the first week. Doing pretty good. Uh, just getting uh getting a little bored. But I don't know what else? I mean, I'm just watching TV. I'm doing some editing and just you know watching a whole bunch of stuff on YouTube and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get some stuff done. I, I can't really do much. Left hand only. I mean, luckily I can still use my right hand. I can put minimal amount of weight in my right hand. I can carry small things around. Like for example, the video doorbell. Battery went dead. Yeah, I, I can do that. I mean, it's this right here. This one screw holder on, so I can I can I can do that. Uh, I changed the light bulb. <laughs> it's just a little stuff. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get laundry done. It's it's hard for me to fold the laundry, so I think I'm gonna. Uh, stop trying to do that. Um, uh, making the bed took me forever. <laughs> with with the one arm and like I can't read. Just like you know, I can't get my arm. I can't move my arm f far down. So uh, I'm able to. I'm able to shower by myself. Take a shower by myself. So that was that was a bonus. That was a progress. I don't know how well I'm cleaning my back area, but I mean, I'm trying. I can reach over here and get most of my left arm with my right arm. Mostly I move my left arm around in and out and try to, you know, I can only have a little bit of movement here with my right hand. So I can wash most of it, but I'm, well, I'm not really doing anything anyway. I might just go uh, outside, you know. I'll walk around. The whole yard is flooded now. It's been raining like crazy. So I need to go check on chickens. So that, that's that's an activity. Yesterday, so that was Wednesday, Wednesday, we had an issue with the chickens and the water, blah, blah, blah. So I need to go out there and check again to make sure everything's okay. But um, that that took a lot out of me. We had, a, I had, we had to give them food and um, move stuff around and... It was, it was a little, uh, it, it wore me out. Anyway, <clears throat> I have, luckily, I, I have my son helping me uh, when he's here. He's here most, most, of, the, most of the day, so. But also, you know, I got, I got my wife and the two other kids. They're helping me out a lot. And I, uh, and I really, I really appreciate them helping me out on stuff that I, I can't do. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do stuff, but a lot of times they stop me. They're like, stop! Don't do that. I'll get it. Like, 
I used to take the trash out all the time. They're they're helping doing the trash and all that kind of stuff. And I, I would take the trash out, you know, just for to get some exercise, go outside and walk around, you know, walk and and, and do something. So sitting around is really um it's really something. <laughs> Not one that just sits there and just watches TV or anything all, all the time. So I mean, I'll play on my phone a lot, but. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll be walking and playing on the phone. Anyway, I'm just babbling. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll get. I'm gonna wait until another week and I'll do another update. Thanks a lot, guys. And I just did that, and I heard a pop. It hurt. Talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.